everyone, this is Marcy Super the Marcy Super Channel, and today I got Sharon Nui Mayakashi Light Sworn, aka Zombie Sworn. Such a fun deck to play. As you guys know, Mayakashi was a single archetype, kind of the sixer archetype to Sharon Nui's that came out a couple sets ago. It's all about a two card combo where you synchro climb into a level nine. Do you guys know what Sharon Nui is? Sharon Nui is one of the biggest top tier threats since release being hit multiple times and still being powerful. And Light Swords? Light Swords has been kind of a engine, kind of a top tier threat, kind of a piece to everything in the meta. And we just slapped them all together and came out with a fire deck list. Lots of fun, super cool, cog worthy if you really like my Akashis. So let's kind of get into this deck profile, y'all. Before we get started, guys, if you guys can do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. We're ramping up for the the full launch of Mars 4.0. This has been a soft launch these last couple months, so we're going full hardcore when Dexo gets here. Uh, but on that note, this is the deck list. It's a lot of fun, actually. A lot of cool, interesting things. I will talk about card choices, um, combo plays, things that I wish the deck would have. Uh, it's just, it's super fun. It's super fun. But on that note, let's talk about it. So we run one Ninetale Fox. Honestly, if there was anything that was cuttable from this build, it would be the Ninetale Fox. I never really use the ability to, um, to bring it out. With it in the level three tuner is a instant Yoko. But if anything was cuttable from this deck build, it's definitely the Ninetale Fox. I would have put a Forbidden Chalice or a Forbidden Lance in this deck just to protect my guys that one time. Um, but pretty good card. We won one Light Little Light Sworn Sorceress, part of our Light Sworn package. It just pops back row. You guys know how I feel about back row. There's not a lot of um, back row stuff to deal with. I don't run any Cosmic Cyclones. But there's two cards in here I definitely would have cut for that. We run one Glow Up Bloom. Another card I definitely would have cut, to be honest with you guys. It was cool to get it to just get the um, get Nine Tail Fox in my hand and thin the deck, but honestly, I would have took these two cards out and put two Cosmic Cyclones or two Forbidden Lances to be honest with you. Now, for our part of our Zombie package, we run Triple Solitaire. It is literally a combo card in this deck. Um, a lot of times, you might have only one piece of your shirt of your Marikashi climb, but Solitaire will definitely get that out. And then if it's banished, it summons Banisher and Nui monsters. So somehow if you got both your swords in the banish zone and you need them to synchro again, Altair's there for you, boy. We run two Daki, the Graceful Mayakashis. It's so beautiful that when a Mayakashi monster is special summoned from the field to the field from the extra deck, it comes back and enables that synchro climb that with our homegirl Yuki Musame. It's just climbing, climbing. It gets special summoned, it brings itself back every time. Um, if it gets dealt with and you get locked into one of your like you want to if it's gonna get taken care of You kind of just make sure you at least get your level five out on board Well, she's really fun. And then usually she's my banish target for Any banish costs that I need to do we won one Raikou Um, it's it's just to deal with stuff if you have like what Lila in the grave Let's get Raikou out pop it or banish something on the board. It kind of comes to handy if you're just weary about going for that final push. Another thing you could do is you can take out these two for light swarm monsters. Um, you can get your, because your graveyard is so important because you're trying to get this engraved. You can get Raiden if you really want to. I'd run a, you can run a Raiden in a, um, a Raiden in a Lila just to run a one of package. It works. Um, we run one Serenary sam Samurai. This card I was very skeptical on until I actually came into it. Banishing a zombie monster, which one of the Zionist or zombie monsters, no, but got cool Sharon Nui monsters that trigger with their banished. And then when he attacks, he actually gets, he banishes the monster that he attacks. One of the replays during, versus the Red Eyes player, that's how I outed Red Eyes, like dra Red Eyes slash Dragon, is by using Serenary um, sure Nui Samurai's effect. Um, and then if it's banished, you target a, a Sharon Nui monster you, um, in your graveyard, add it to your hand. That's sometimes useful. One Spirit Master. It's a Sharon Nui out of the graveyard in your hand to make a level seven. 
you definitely can make your Squire Saga if you want to. And then when it's banished, you pop something. And honestly, you're doing a lot of banishing. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was really skeptical about how much banishing you were doing in this deck. You do a lot. Uh, one Spectral Shade. Now, Spectral Shade's interesting because while it's on the board, you can tribute it, target two of your banished zombie monsters, and bring them back. If you somehow banish your your Mayakashi Synchro monsters for something, you can bring them back and trigger their effects with Shade. It's a really good one card recovery tool. And then we do run one Spectral Sword. You guys know Spectral Nord is and annoys everybody. If it's in the grave and it hasn't been the turn that it's in the grave, you can literally banish it and a monster to Synchro Summon. A lot of times, the cool thing that you will do is if you get your level five, as you guys will get in my replays, you notice as long as we get to Suki Gomo, I, I got plays next turn. Because then you can go into your Squire Saga and you start using Squire Saga as a thing. So you only run one in this build. We run one Bacon Saver to protect ourselves. Triple Yuki Musume, just for the combos, like I said. Now the spells and trap cards are very interesting and I'm gonna get the generic ones kind of out the way. Three Charge of Light Brigades, just to get your Light Swords out and also to mill. One Grass is greener because it's still powerful at one. Let's you mill off your deck. If you got plays, you got plays from there. Triple enemy controller. No, a double enemy controller? Not triple, I wish. I love it. A lot of times it got me out of a lot of trouble. It just It's a good generic card. You can replace this with any of your popular spells or traps. So if you want to run, you know, if you want to run your Cosmic Cyclones, there's another slot you can get with Cosmic Cyclone. Hey, Trinade, if you're afraid of stuff. Night Beans. Like, it just could be anything. I used it to tribute fodder super awesome well let's actually get into our shirinui and our mayakashi spells and traps and something that i was really interested in playing when it came out but it didn't happen until now is ghost meets girl a shirinui story now if your opponent controls a monster you can discard a zombie monster special summon one shirinui monster with a different name from your deck or graveyard but you can't special summon anything except for zombies that turn now i'm gonna tell you the truth this is a really good first um, turn two play and a really good defensive card. If you're going second and you need to get a sure Nui monster out, let's say you have your Yuki in hand, but you have a zombie in hand that's not gonna help, use Ghost Girl to bring out Solitaire, tribute to Solitaire, get your Grace. If you're going first and you have no other place to really go for, set up, set this, keep a monster in your hand, activate it when your opponent tries to pop off, for lock and attack it's it's such a good utility card i really thought it was a good card when it came out but we never got to use it so i used it today um triple mayakashi returns take a mayakashi card from the deck add it to your hand or send it to your graveyard you can do it to either get your graceful you can do it to actually send ice mayakashi to the grave and recur her with her own effect now something i kind of wish i wish i wouldn't run triple winters Another thing you can do with Return is send Winter to Grave. Winter is a really good card. When it's on board, it makes your opponent lose 100 attack points for every Mayakashi with different names in your grave, but you're not really using it for me. You're using it for the two other events. You can send this card in a Mayakashi monster. You control it to the graveyard to draw a card. That's just a good draw power. But the second effect is the one that I really like. Banish this card in the zombie monster from your grave and target one Mayakashi in your grave and special summon. I should have worn this on I should have ran this at three so I could have pitched it re-return because you can special summon your Mayakashi Synchro Monsters and get all their effects off. So super duper awesome card. On that note, we're also running spell specialists as our skill because we run five plus spells. A spell, literally any of these spells starts plays, to be honest with you. So for the extra deck, we want to run Yoko to um, pop monsters when it's special summon. It's also a big boy that's hard to get over. One Tengu to get to the climb, but when a special summon, it pops a spell or trap. One Suki Kogo makes your opponent's mill. Sometimes you're trapping their plays. And three Ouroboros cards to just protect yourself from, from being destroyed by battle. We also run one Squire Saga. Very good utility. Um, you're, pop, you're getting rid of zombies. You're getting rid of fire monsters. You're getting rid of synchro monsters to utilize all its effects. And one Sun Saga just for those big boy plays that you just can do. Now, I will say Glow Up Bloom plus Yoko does get you this, but a lot of times you're going to summon this by using Squire Saga 
and your shade it's just a lovely card i on that note guys let's get to these replays they're super fun make sure you leave that like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you guys at the end of the video invoke neos is very forgiving witchcrafters are very forgiving black wings are not element sabers are not super forgiving Karakuris are not forgiving whatsoever. Like, you mess up your Karakuri plays, you're done. Blue Eyes, super forgiving. Dark Magician's not forgiving. Mask Hero's not forgiving. Sure, and Nui's eh. eh. So, we're gonna go Mayakashi Returns. Honestly. Eh. I could. Wee. Well, yeah, because we normal summon Squire. You activate Squire or Solitaire's effect. Give you it. Special summon your level two graceful. Activate Yuki's effect. Yuki's gonna go on board now. Um, we're down now. We're down. We're gonna pitch down our level two. That's gonna help us later. And then now we synchro climb. Come on and once again, our, our goal is not to wanna bring out Yoko as in like, okay, Yoko's out. We can do things. No, the point is getting the level five engraved now. So you're able to follow up next turn. Um, Yugi with four cards in the extra deck, it could be almost anything. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of don't cares around. Tengu. And I have Doki's effect. And special summon us a Yoko. So we're gonna summon Yoko and attack. We're gonna put Daki in defense over here. We're gonna set the Econ. Then we're gonna intern. Now Econ's alive, Graceful's alive, Yoko's alive. I like how they're both a graceful Mayakashi. It just means Daki, Yoko is Daki's spirit animal. Uh, five cards. I wonder what he's playing. Is that the Sabres is a thing? Which honestly, if I could just oh, he's set one. There's no back row hate in my deck right now. So chaos form. So I really am not tripping about this one. Uh, we're not gonna trip on it. Now is the time. Magician girl. I definitely want him to. Like, I definitely want. I definitely want this to trigger because I want to pop that back row before next turn. Oh, come on. You have a chance to pop the Yoko. That's exactly what I wanted. So Yoko gets popped. We're gonna activate Tengu's effect. We're gonna banish our. Actually, solitaire. Fudge. I don't really want to banish. Do banish stuff. Tengu's got special summon. Tengu will now pop the back row. So, ooh, wall of disruption. So, Chocolate Magician Girl is really funny to see. We need to make sure we get some of this stuff out of the grave first before we go on and do the stuff. We'll have to be, um, one monster. 
We get rid of our Ouroboros cards. All our zombies are gonna gain. Play one more card on the field. Is this what it's targeted to? Targeted for attack, no, so we can pop this. We will, we're gonna get Yuki out just because I wanna kind of get my, um, I wanna get this. We're gonna go into battle phase. We're gonna attack over this. And we're not going to do anything else because I'm pretty sure he's playing Destiny Draw. So now he has win cards to do something. He just sets one monster face down. As long as we can get another, we're gonna get rid of another synchro monster. We'll get rid of Yoko. It makes me sad, but we'll gain the power. We'll pop the monster. We're gonna pop the face down. Woo. We're gonna go into battle phase. 27, 32, and that's how it's done. You know what? We really haven't showed the Lice Horn side of this deck yet. <laughs> you will pretty much get your, like, you will get everything you need. Mill three. Like, it's not the best opener, but at least we didn't mill anything. Oh, we milled a return. Do you, do you Joey's ever stop? Yeah, normal summon, you can set. So you better set one card, dude. Um. Yeah, we need one more. Is this targets any card? Get the return or the speaker. Or get another fusion for next turn. Ah, yeah, he gets another one for next turn. Yeah, attack. Now, the funny interaction about this is that... Okay, we get another mill. Oh, we get... Ooh! Come on! Come on! Ooh! What can you do? Ultimate Providence? You know what? We're gonna normal summon Samurai. We're gonna activate Samurai's effect. We're gonna banish the Solitaire. I don't care about, I don't care about that. But we're gonna go into battle phase. We're gonna attack into this. We're gonna take the 600 and then that banishes. Perfect, in turn. We'll keep buying time. Cause I think that is a really good move to go. That's one. Okay. So now we're. So. Uh, let's see. If we had an odd number card, we'll normal summon Lila. Go into battle phase. Lila will attack the phase down. That lets him get a red eyes card. Um, he could get the last fusion. So no, he has. This is his last fusion. And I also did this because as long as we get Yuki in the grave, yes, we got this. Yuki got hit to the grave. It's good. We got this. 
Do your red eyes fusion. I activate the spell card. Red eyes fusion. We're so we're good now. I do not care about the slash. Because you have to remember now. Even though, yeah, we're kind of stuck. We're stuck at Mayakashi's. But he can only do like 1300. We literally can synchro climb. He's going to negate and destroy. And every time he negates and destroys something because I target something, um, we're going to be able to like just manipulate the field. Okay. Go for the turn. Wish we can kind of. Almost summon Daki. I activate Yoko's effect. I activate my monster's effect. Show the graveyard, we're going to send Bacon Saver. We're going to try to save one more turn. But we're going cart. But we're going cart. Cart's effect. We're going to send Daki. Now we're going to climb this out. Suka Pogo. Ooh, sorry guys. So Daki's coming out. Daki's going too. Tengu's coming. So the thing is, I think I'm going to summon Yoko in defense. Let's go. And we're not going to summon. We're not going to summon the Daki's effect this turn. No, we still have Bacon Saber in your hand. We have Yoko for defense. He doesn't even have another Red Eyes monster to bring out. So he's going to go Powers Guardians. He can even... It like, I think this is only a once per turn. Like, I don't even care if this dies right now. So, Yoko's gonna die. We're gonna use Tengu's effect. Tengu's going to actually... There's a reason why I'm banishing you. Summon. Tengu's effect. Pop the Powers Guardian. Woo! That nice little timing, though. Wyvern's gonna come. He's gonna get that. Was this a non-targeted destruction? Hold up. Tengu, why didn't you tell me it was a non-targeting destruction, bro? So what we're kind of gonna do right now is we're going to... We're going to try to bait out everything. Or, <laughs> hold up. Eh. Go, Sun Saga. Out of the Fire Sun Saga. We're going to return. Yoko, this, this. Actually, we're going to send them all back. Because I think that's up to four cards we can pop. Yeah. So we're going to destroy Red Eyes. We're going to destroy this. We're going to destroy this. We're going to destroy this. We're going to send them all to the grave. And we're going to look at... Like, Red Eyes... I'm going to give you something. But he has to use Return of the Red Eyes. Oh, you're gross. You're gross. Activate her Spectral Sword's effect. The special Summon Ouroboros card. Oh, uh, let's see. Activate. Oh, yeah. We're going to do you. We're going to do you. Summon it. We're gonna send to the graveyard our solitaire. We're gonna activate the econ. Funny. Gonna tribute our little one. We're gonna take this. Uh, 
battle phase. I probably could have closed this out better. But we're just gonna let those destroy each other. We're gonna go into that. And we're gonna turn Leave him with 500. Not the worst. Definitely not the worst. Um, maybe we put Ouroboros in attack. He's setting one from his hand. He's doing Power Guardian. Oh, is he just getting... No! He's trying to set up for a... Um... He's, sta he's, he's trying to set up for something. We're going to get Yuko. What are you doing? Return of the Red Eye. What are you attempting to do? What's that? What's the other one of these today? What are you attempting to do? Uh... Are you gonna activate the red eyes? Like, I'm trying to figure out what he's trying to do. Do we have a Light Sworn in the gray? Oh, we do. Okay, normal summon Raikou. Activate the effect of Raikou. We're gonna mill out this. We need, I just need to make sure that he, he's not doing anything weird. Battle phase. Attack for games. Like, hey, why did you do that? He, he just knew he was gonna lose. Okay, there you go, Joey. Good day. Good day everyone thank you guys for watching the replays i really do enjoy it before you guys go if you guys can do me a favor hit that like button comment down below subscribe and hit that bell for notifications i really would appreciate it we're going to be in the lab for the rest of the week so i hope i see you guys on stream for the rest of the week i love you i appreciate you guys this is marcy super i'm on the mars out